In my right hand I have a 2B pencil and I'm sketching a bit of wildlife. But unlike most wildlife artists, in my other hand I hold the second most venomous snake on the planet. This is the Eastern Brown. It is an extremely venomous snake. Experience is a big part of my art. And this is the subject for today. I've been known to do things that other artists just don't do. The sugar lift technique. I've got some Indian ink, some sugar, some liquid soap in the form of detergent, whizzed it in the microwave, and I'm now painting it onto a zinc plate. You should use a paintbrush, probably more than a nib, but I'm going for a bit of extra fine stuff, probably more fine than I should have gone. But here is my Celtic snake design. I am now applying the soft ground. In my last video on etching, I applied a hard ground which I had to melt on. This is already a liquid form and it will dry on the plate but it won't be that hard. It's soft like a politician just before an election. We want this thin, greasy, oily softness over top of the sugar and once we add water to that, you know what the water is going to do to that sugar? It's going to dissolve the sugar and the dissolving sugar is going to lift up through this greasy wax. There we have it, we're now going to drop it into the acid. Now you've got to wear gloves and be in a very well ventilated area because this is the hard stuff, this is hardcore acid. This acid bites almost as nasty as the last curry I made. That acid's now biting away on the zinc plate. In fact, that zinc plate's being chewed up faster than a chocolate bar at a ladies' meeting. Now I apply a bit of terps, I rub this stuff off, and you can see that underneath we have a nice engraving. Hey presto, the finished product. So that's nicely bitten away there, leaving a nice image. I'm going to add a few more special effects. A few aqua tints which I'll show you in a future video. For those who missed the last video on etching, here's a little recap. But this is the next process, the printing process. Smearing ink into the grooves. We then wipe the ink off and so the ink is left inside the grooves. We've got our paper which is softened by a bit of moisture and that's going to get pushed into the grooves when we push it through the press. And here we have the final print, the Celtic Brown Snake, with a few other techniques thrown in there for future videos. But basically that's how Sugar Lift works. So drop a comment, tell me what an absolute art god I am, and I'll see you in the next video.